The problem of using the multiple desktop feature on Windows and Mac OS is that they aren't the best solution when you need to keep certain apps open on screen. So I tend to have an extended monitor set up in the workplace where I need certain apps to be open. However, what happens when I'm on the go? This is the Asus Zenscreen MB16AC, a 50-inch monitor that merely requires power from a single USB-C or USB 3.0 port. I got this little guy back in Taipei for the price of 7,500 Taiwan dollars and by all means, it isn't an affordable monitor for what it is priced at because for that kind of price, you could actually get a proper PC monitor at 27 inches or even 29 inches. But what does this have over other extended display solutions? I'm Warren with KL Gadget TV and this is my review of the ASUS Zenscreen MB16AC. The nature of my job requires me to be always on the lookout for portable tech stuffs I could invest to ease my work out of the office. And one of them is a portable display. I've tried using solutions like Duet on iPad, which easily extends the display of any Windows laptop or MacBook with a lightning cable. But the experience on the iPad's display isn't quite on par with what you get on a proper PC monitor. It isn't able to display colors properly, and navigating with programs can be quite a pain if you increase the screen resolution. The ASUS Zen screen feels like a laptop display without a keyboard. It weighs 780 grams and measures 8 mm thin. Although it is twice the weight of a modern tablet, it is impressively lightweight for a 15-inch display. ASUS provides a leather cover case that attaches to the device with magnet, which you can use it to make it stand like a tablet. Or if you prefer, just stick a pen into the little hole at the bottom and make it stand in portrait or landscape. Which ASUS also provide one in the package. And mind you, it is a real pen with black ink. The display measures 15.6 inches and uses an IPS panel that outputs 1080p resolution with 220 nits of brightness and an 800 by 1 contrast ratio. Hence, don't expect good visibility outdoors or to do any creative work on it because the colors also look a little dull as compared to a desktop monitor of the same price. The selling proposition of the ASUS Zen screen is clear. It is made for those who want an additional display out of their laptops. The monitor uses the USB-C DisplayPort signal, and if you don't have USB-C on your laptop, you will be required to download drivers to use the monitor. Smartphones with USB-C 3.1 ports will also be able to power the display, which is quite convenient if you do work or presentations from your smartphone. The Zen screen has two buttons at the bottom left that lets you access the image adjustment menu. You will find the interface similar to ASUS displays, which gives you a number of color presets to choose from besides adjusting brightness and contrast. The left button can be assigned to a shortcut of the display's features. Using the two buttons to navigate the menu can sometimes get pretty annoying as there isn't a button to go back to the previous menu or selection, and there's definitely enough space for ASUS to include an extra button. The Zen screen has been a pretty useful gadget when I'm out and about. I use it to monitor my Twitter feed, check my emails, and sometimes play movies as I'm working on my laptop's display. Despite the convenience, it greatly reduces the battery life on my laptop by at least 40%. Hence, I sometimes wish ASUS could give the Zen screen an extra USB-C port for supplying power with a power brick or portable charger instead of drawing power from my laptop. The ASUS Zen screen is a good portable display that serves what it is intended to. It does, however, have room for improvements. For instance, it would be great to have a built-in kickstand rather than using a pen. And including a micro HDMI port can provide better support for non-USB-C devices. The ASUS Zen screen isn't available for purchase in Malaysia. However, if you are interested, you can purchase it through our friends over at Gearbest, which I'll leave the link in the description down below. What do you think about the ASUS Zen screen? Tell me more in the comment section and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more weekly videos like this. I'm Warren with KL Gadget TV and I will see you soon in the next one.